Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about how to manage some of our customers. Now, whenever a customer does sign up to our store using the front end, they are going to be listed here on the customer section. Uh, so if you go to your back office, you click here on the left-hand side and you click on customers, we have uh, some general information, including uh, the social title, the ID number, the first name, last name, their email address, uh, the sales uh, enable this uh, newsletter uh, newsletter and option in if they are optioned in or not to the newsletter their registration date and also their last visit we also have a couple of more options here uh, so if we go ahead and click on edit we have um, some of their information uh, so we see that this customer does not have a social title um, their first name, their last name. This is actually one that was added by us uh, just uh, recently. Uh, so we definitely have the ability to change their password, uh, their birthday. Uh, do we have them enabled or disabled? So definitely if by any chance we don't want this customer to be able to log in anymore, uh, we could always disable their account. Uh, we have newsletters and whether they will receive ads via email. We also have the group access. Uh, so definitely, let's say you have a product that's only available for some customer groups. Uh, you could add this customer into that group manually from here. Um, and we also have the default group. So we have these options here in the customer section. We also have the ability to add a new customer. So definitely, uh, if a customer by any chance uh, came to your store and you have a profile on them and you want to add them to your store online, you could also do so using this section. Uh, the next under customers, we have addresses. Now under addresses, this is the addresses that we have listed on our store. Uh, so definitely if you want to search maybe for a customer, you could search here, click on address. Uh, here we have the ability to edit these addresses. Uh, so maybe if you notice you have a certain a package that you're having issues with and it's a mistake here, you could manually come here and maybe edit it or fix it. So definitely this is a good option here. We also have some of our groups. So we have visitor group, our guest group, and our customer group. Now these groups are come with PrestaShop by default. Uh, they have three, we have visitors, which are, um, all persons without a customer account or customers that have not yet logged in. We also have our guests, which are guests who are placing an order uh, through guest checkout. So by any chance, guest checkout does enable customers to just go ahead and uh, process their shopping cart. And we do also have customers. Now the customers are all persons who created an account on the site, including providing their personal information, creating, uh, specifying their email to be saved onto our system. Uh, we also have the shopping carts here. Uh, now, as you can see here, we have a couple of them. Uh, we have one that was considered non-ordered. Uh, so definitely this person did add some items to their cart. However, they never processed the order. Uh, here we have the total, uh, the carrier that was selected, if any. If by any chance no carrier was selected, it would just default uh, to the default carrier. And we have some more information. So definitely if we want to look at the cart, we could always go here and select view. Now in view, we have the total of the cart, how much the cart costs, the customer information, uh, the valid orders that have been placed by this customer, uh, the email, the order information, which in this um, case, no order was created from this cart. Uh, so we don't have an order, just a shopping cart summary. And we have, of course, the cart summary, which we shows uh, which products were purchased, the total and the shipping, and this information here. Now, one thing difference is, for example, this non-ordered one, we are not going to have an order. Uh, for example, this one shows as they did order. So we have a link to our order number and we'll be talking about orders in just um, a moment in the next section. Now here in this customer service section, uh, we have the ability to 
manage our customer service via uh, email method with, with an email system. Uh, so for example, for IMAP, is the ability to receive emails onto our Pesto Shop platform. So definitely if you have an IMAP um, server, be sure to set this up here. And definitely any emails we do receive, we'll receive directly here. We could also reply to them. Uh, so for example, if we go to our front office and we click on the contact us, our customers have the ability to contact us via this page. So we have a choose a subject heading. Do we want this to go to the customer service department or to the webmaster? If maybe it's a product issue or maybe a website issue. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on customer service. We have a short description that we could add here for any question about a product um, or order. Uh, we also have the ability to specify your email address or the customer's email address more say uh, the order reference if there is one and the attach file if we want to maybe choose a file that we want to attach and the message once we send this email it'll be received here or on your actual email account depends if you set up the imap uh, settings or not uh, but definitely this is where we have all this section and we have our contacts. So as we just notice here in the front, when we click on contact us, we have both customer service and a webmaster. If we go to the back here, we have the ability to add uh, this contacts. So for example, the webmaster will receive this. Um, this is the webmaster email. So anything, whenever they select webmaster, it'll be sent to this email. Uh, this is just a short description. Uh, it just so happens that the customer service uh, email is also identical, but maybe your store, you might have different emails for different departments. Uh, you might want to just also specify the description and you could do this by um, adding new ones here. We also have the titles and this is for social titles and gender, just in case you do want to set this up. By default, Puzzle Shop does come with Mr. and Mrs., uh, male and female, and these images. Uh, so definitely this is the customer section where you could um, go ahead and manage all your customer settings, their contacts, your customer service. Uh, so definitely anything that has to do with managing a customer account is this section. Now, the next section we'll go into is tracking orders and managing returns, which is definitely an essential part of running any online commerce store.